In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you about the 12 tips that we use to take our blog from $0 to over $100,000 per month, all tips that are relevant in 2021. Let's do it. Hey, what's up guys? It's Alex Nerny with Create and Go. Been a while, I've missed you. If you're new here, we are a channel teaching you all about how to start a blogging business, how to go from $0 to a full-time income blogging. And today I've got some amazing information for you. We're gonna show you exactly how to start a blog and how we've taken our blog from $0 to over $100,000 per month. If this interests you at all, consider hitting that subscribe button. Because like many of you, we've had subscribers and customers go from $0 to even making over $40,000 per month online. Plenty of success stories about blogging and what it can do for you. So I'm really excited about today's video because I've got two big announcements on top of these tips. I'm announcement number one. I'm announcement. Announcement number one, we have a new podcast that just got released. We know you guys have been asking for a podcast for a long time, so shout out to Lauren McManus, my co-founder, for putting an amazing podcast together. We got episodes with me and her on it. We've got episodes with just her on it. We're gonna have amazing guests. You're gonna love it. And number two, I have a very special guest to reveal to you today. Uh, he's not only a business partner, but he's a friend. Uh, we have done a lot of projects together and worked on a lot of different things. Um, and he's essentially kind of the third hidden member behind Create and & Go. And we're actually gonna introduce him on the YouTube channel today and he's gonna help me with this video. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be impactful for you guys. Let's get into it. Tip number one is that most people never start. Guys, I probably intro all of my videos like this because it's something uh, that is close to my heart and something that means a lot to me. And that is my philosophy in life and where I believe that we will all get the most results is to play life aggressively. And a lot of you have been bouncing from video to video, thing to thing, thinking about starting a blog, staying in your head and not taking action. What I say on all videos and what I'll say again today is that the world belongs to the doers. It belongs to people who take action for what they want and what they want to do in life. So even if you don't start with us, even if you don't use Create and Go as the platform or the courses or whatever to start your blogging business, please take this one piece of advice and go start. Go start that thing, go start that passion project, go, go begin a new journey for your life. I can tell you just straight from the heart that starting this business changed my life forever and I want you to have that same change. And in playing aggressively, what I mean is I have all sorts of examples of Lauren and I quitting our jobs before we were making any money, not that you have to do that, but also things like we were running five different email opt-ins to the exact same course at one period of time. The reason why is that we have always been playing aggressively from the very beginning of blogging, and that's what has led us to having the success that we do. So guys, play life aggressively, get started today. Tip number two, find somebody you trust and stick with them. When we started all the way back in 2015, we didn't really know of any specific gurus that we could trust. And what we ended up doing was bouncing from person to person, thing to thing, place to place, trying to pick out and weed out information. Unfortunately, this led us to a process of not getting results at the beginning because well, when you're learning a little bit from here and a little bit from there, you never really have the complete puzzle or the complete picture of why somebody is successful. One of the secrets to having success almost at anything in life is to find somebody that you trust. Find somebody that you really vibe with, somebody that you really believe in, and stick with them. Stick with their programs, stick with their courses. Again, even if it's not us, stick with them and stick with them till the end then you have much more success than what most entrepreneurs face and that is having the shiny object syndrome problem. It's that they just jump thing to thing and they see this shiny object over here and then they go here and this one and then they go there and they never stick to a program long enough to see it through to the end and actually get results. We had that problem in the beginning and we had spent over $15,000 on courses, on bad softwares, on things that didn't work for us and it was all because of this shiny object syndrome. So guys, find somebody you trust, find somebody you can stick with and ride or die with them until the end. Number three, use a self-hosted platform like WordPress for your blog. WordPress powers over 39% of the internet. That means almost four out of every 10 websites you visit run on a WordPress platform. There's a reason for this. WordPress is one of the most advanced and amazing systems for running websites. It comes with all sorts of plugins, different themes from different developers, and so much customization uh, that you can create something from scratch for yourself. 
Now let me tell you my personal story with WordPress. When I started out blogging, I originally had a WordPress website and then I switched over to Wix because WordPress was too complicated. I, like many of you, got overwhelmed with the process and just was like, oh, this is like, this is too much and Wix is so much easier and so much more simple to use. But I end up regretting that decision and having to go all the way back to WordPress. The reason why is that Wix isn't nearly as powerful as a platform. And if you want to run a real blogging business and you want to get real traffic to your website, well, you need to start with the most professional thing that you can, and that's with WordPress. WordPress is the gold standard of blogging in the same way that Michael Jordan is the gold standard of basketball. There's a reason why people look towards Michael Jordan as the gold standard, the same way that 99.9% .9 of the successful bloggers that I know and that I've helped use WordPress to run their websites. Trust me guys, when I started, I too was intimidated by WordPress, but it just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of getting in there, and thankfully there's so many awesome YouTube videos today on WordPress tutorials and all sorts of um, creators have made awesome things to help a complicated platform become a lot more easy for a normal person like you or I. Tip number four, make it sexy with a professional theme. Now back when we started back in 2015, first impressions mattered a lot less. We got away with a lot more. I don't think our faces were even on our blog uh, for the first three months or four months of even posting content. But today, more than ever, these first impressions matter. What people originally see on your blog is how they view you and how they view your business. Thankfully, there are so many amazing resources out there for you that we didn't have back in the day. There are amazing custom page builders like Elementor and Divi that make it so easy to uh, create the website and make it look exactly how you want it to look today. We didn't have these tools and, and the tools that we had back in the day uh, were so much more rough to work with. Now some of you might look at our blogs and look at Create and Go and, and see that you know, our blogs don't run on Divi or Elementor anymore. We've custom coded our websites. Well, the secret here is that you want to level up your blogging game, but only one step at a time. Starting out by paying a ton of money to have somebody professionally develop your website is not where you want to spend your money at the beginning. You can get away with an Elementor website for a long, long time before you need to completely optimize every little nook and cranny in your website with a web developer if you ever have to do that at all. Again, many of the bloggers and people that we know that are successful run on Elementor. The final thing that I'm gonna say about this is that you want to invest in your blog like you're investing in it as a business. The more you treat it like a business, the more likely it will be to pay you like a business. All right guys, if you're getting any value from this video so far, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button, really would appreciate it. Tip number five, select your niche. Now normally I would teach this, but I think I actually have somebody who might be a little bit better at teaching this topic in particular. And he's actually the third member of Create and Go, the man behind the curtain. He's the one responsible for our SEO and many of the other things that run our business behind the scenes. Uh, and it's his first day, I think, in front of the camera for our audience. Uh, so give a big round of applause for Noah Riggs. Hey guys, excited to be here. As Alex said, my name is Noah. Noah's been working with us for a while on a variety of projects. Um, for everything from SEO, he started out as, out as our VA back in the day, um, but even started out as a student. The first thing you found me from was actually this YouTube channel, right? Right. How does it feel like coming full circle? Now you're on the YouTube channel, which is kind of like, it's It is cool. cool. Hopefully someone will see us on the YouTube channel and get the same feeling that I got when I saw you on the YouTube and channel. And then we'll have another person. There yeah, will be three that's of excited us. to start their own business. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but it's, it's really awesome, and I'm really excited uh, for Noah to not only be on the channel, uh, but for helping you and teaching you some of the many things that he knows, because he knows more about SEO than almost anybody that I know, uh, he's going to be such a valuable resource for you guys moving forward, um, and so Noah, let's talk about niches. Yeah, so niching down now is more important than it's ever been for Google. Back in the day, people could start a blog that had eight different niches on it and are you talking about avocado because it sounds like you're talking about avocado <laughs> i mean it was it was easier to get away with back then it was people really could start a blog that they called their travel blog but they talked about finance they talked about uh their favorite places to visit their mom's birthday party and how the cool gifts they got them i mean it's really crazy um, how Google's evolved over the years because it used to be much easier to succeed with SEO really no matter how much you niche down and things like that. 
but it's become ever more important now. So when it comes to starting your own blogging business, that is one of the first things you want to tack down is getting your niche clearly defined. By having a clearly defined niche, your audience is going to know that the content that you are making is right for them. And that's why it's so important is that in more and more in today's internet society, we have more and more information flooded at us. So we need to know that the information we're getting is amazing. And that is why Google is looking for us to be individual experts on individual topics. Yeah, and just as Alex said, you want to be positioned as an expert in whatever niche you choose. It's very difficult to be an expert in 10 different things or 15 different things. It's much easier to define how you are an expert in a single topic. So when it comes to niching down, there's a couple of things that you can do to make this process easier. I like to start from a big picture perspective. So first off, what is something that you would like to write about? If I was considering starting a brand new niche site today, I would probably go along the lines of, hey, I love the outdoors. I love going outdoors, I love camping, I love hiking, traveling, all of those things. But the outdoors is a very broad niche. Think of how many different niches go into the outdoors. There's frisbee golf, hiking, rock climbing, I mean it's endless. So what you want to do is you want to start with that big picture and then start breaking it down to as specific as you can get. So with outdoors, I would take it a step further and do something like camping. And once you break it down to camping, then you're able to eliminate a lot of these extra topics or extra niches that include the outdoors. But you can actually go steps further from there because there's a lot of different types of camping. There's hiking and backpacking, there's winter camping, there's like multi-day camping, RV camping. So you can see how the more specific you get, the more niches you can eliminate and allow yourself to be an expert in just one thing. So we would take it further and go something like winter camping. That's a little bit seasonal, but it's winter somewhere. It's, I mean, it's chilly somewhere all, all the, the time. time. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure in Alaska. It's, it's five o'clock somewhere. Exactly. Same way it's winter so, somewhere. If you're able to break that niche down into something like hiking or winter camping, you can actually take that specific market and in a sense control it. You're going to be the expert on that topic. And so if you were to start your blog in say hiking, now you have much more specific content to write that shows Google, hey, this is the niche that I'm a professional in, that I can provide a lot of value in, and not only will Google trust you in your content, but other people will trust you. So you can begin talking about things like hiking boots or hiking poles, hiking clothes, instead of just outdoor boots, outdoor clothes. It's much more specific and much more targeted. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, now you know why Noah's going to be you know, on the channel from time to time. Uh, that was probably the longest tip by far and probably one of the most important. All right, guys, let's get to tip number seven, though. We want to create the content that people want and that they need. One of the biggest problems whenever we started was that we started with a blog called Health and Happy Hour. And when Laura and I began, we thought it was all about us. We wanted to make ourselves look cool. We wanted to talk about cool things we wanted to talk about. We weren't really thinking about other people. Y'all just wanted to drink we alcohol just, for work. Well, listen, <laughs> uh, it's true. It, it, that's what we wanted at the time was that we just wanted to hang out and have fun and make money. And while that sounds great, and there's some of that that can be done, uh, the truth was is that we weren't creating the content that other people wanted and needed. And that is the most important part about your business is that you are creating stuff for other people. Yeah. And absolutely. Just, just to harp on again, it's like when you pick your niche, you're able to decide what people need. When you're writing about hiking, you know people are going to need hiking gear, hiking boots, and things like that. So you want to make sure that you're giving your audience or giving your visitors what they need. Yep, for sure. And you do that by thinking about others ahead of yourself. And one more point about that is that when you're creating the content that people want and that they need, you're getting the right visitors to your blog or your website. Yeah, getting 100,000 visitors to a keyword that has no transactional value in any way is not really gonna matter much for you, but getting 5,000 visits to a keyword that converts like crazy and actually supplies people with what they're looking for and gives them an opportunity to find that product, you're gonna end up making a lot more money in the long run. Yeah, so it's not just about getting traffic, 
It's about getting the right traffic. Absolutely. All right, guys, with the next three tips, we're gonna be talking about how to monetize your blog like a pro. Starting with tip number eight, starting with ads on your blog. Now, the first time we tried to make money with ads was absolutely abysmal. Back in the day, we just thought, man, we'll just have a website, we'll throw some Google AdSense on there, and man, we're gonna make it rain dollars and cents. But right. mainly it was just cents, because yeah. we made like 17 cents from those ads, and we were like, well, this is garbage. We're not making any money, this is trash. Now, things have evolved today. Right. Uh, today we have bigger, better platforms like Mediavine, AdThrive. Azoic. Uh, other yeah. ones that are just, you can monetize a lot better with ads, even make full-time incomes just with advertising alone. Now, ads can be great for two reasons. One, ads can be really passive. If you're getting organic traffic or traffic from anywhere to your website that's consistent, you can start getting your first taste of passive income from your blog. Secondly, it can be extremely encouraging to actually start making money. A lot of people, uh, that's the first dollars they make. And sometimes you just need to make those first couple dollars to remind yourself that this is possible. Yeah, and one of the big things about making money with a blog that not a lot of people talk about is that every blog has a different way it needs to be monetized. Right. How we monetize Create and Go is wildly different than how we need to monetize our other you know, secret yeah, blogs that we don't talk about. All the niches that we have or all the websites that we have that, that we have a part in running, they're all monetized in different ways. I would say that each of them actually have a main thing that makes their money and so they yeah. all represent a different type of monetization so keep in mind that one monetization might be right for someone else but there may be a better option for you exactly so it's going to be different depending on your niche and what you're in but starting out with ads is kind of the easy way to start right. and that's what we recommend and what we mean by this is we mean display ads we mean ads that are on your website so you'll have a web page and then you will put in a little bit of code and an ad will pop up uh, from another advertiser on your website. We're not talking about running paid ads to your website. We've all seen those ads when you when you hop over to see, you know, how to do your budget and all of a sudden you get a thousand ads for a thousand different budgeting platforms. They're like listening to you, <laughs> yeah. like absolutely. And then you're like on Instagram or whatever. Right. I'm just like buying everything. <laughs> this shirt is an Instagram, is an ad that was run to me on it. I was like, yeah, I, I probably need that. Yeah. But yeah, so that's the difference there. We're talking about ads on your website, not ads that are, you know, ran in your Instagram account right. and stuff like that. And tip number nine is going to be all about mastering affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is really that bread and butter for most bloggers. While a lot of bloggers will bring in income from tons of different sources, affiliate marketing, especially if people haven't created products yet, is going to be a lot of the bloggers you see main source of income. The reason for this is simple. Affiliate marketing is much easier to monetize than creating your own products and services. While creating your own products and services, we'll be talking about in the next tip, affiliate marketing just represents an easy way to put somebody else's product on your website and see if it works for your audience. It's, it's really like trying something out for the first time. Like you wanna try it before you buy it. And it's the same way that you, before you create a digital product, you kinda wanna try to sell it via affiliate marketing. Right. This is how we did on our health blog. Back in the day, we tried out a yoga product in affiliate marketing. It worked and eventually created our own digital product and service. And you'd be surprised though, like we said, because these different blogs are monetized in different ways, you know, some of you will just have affiliate marketing because yeah. sometimes being an affiliate for somebody is better than creating the actual product. Like let's talk about Bluehost, for example. Yeah, that's a great example. Bluehost is a multi-million dollar platform that, yeah. to be honest, has taken years and years of work and web developers, coders. I mean, things that people like you and me and just everyday people that are looking to make a good living might not necessarily be interested in starting. So it's better for us at Create and Go to recommend you guys a product that we enjoy, like Bluehost, rather than putting in the 10, 15, 20 years worth of work yeah. that it might take to surpass them or beat them. The 200 plus employees needed, yeah. the venture funding capital, we're just trying to live our lives. Right. You know, Bluehost, you, you're doing a lot and we respect you. That's a great example of yeah. like, hey, we're not gonna create the product for that. We're gonna use affiliate marketing to sell this product. Right. A lot of times there are people in, in spaces and niches that are masters at their craft and you just wanna use them as a resource because they are the master at it. 
This can also be true because a lot of us are looking to start our online business or start an online business to get freedom. And so if you set out to make every product that your audience needs, you're going to be pretty busy for every day, the weekends. I mean, you're going to eliminate all the goals of freedom that you had when you started. So tip number 10, we're going to consider creating our own products. Now this is kind of the final step, the final phase, our final form <laughs> in blogging is whenever we want to create our own products and services for our customers. Why is this the final step? Because you control all the margins, baby. You know, when, when you're selling somebody else's products, you're usually splitting that amount with them or even less if you're selling something like an Amazon product and you're sending people to Amazon, I think they give you like 4% or something? Maybe. Maybe. If, if you're, you're lucky. If we're lucky, by the time this video is published, they'll still be giving 4% right. and not 2% or 1%. You never, you never know. Jeff may just wake up. Je he needs another yacht. He needs some more money. Need another yacht. You know, I need uh, need some more party cash. Right. You know, so it's, it's at that point with affiliate marketing that you have to look and go, should I create a digital product and service for this? And if you can, and you think you can do it better than what's out there, then yes then making your own products and services makes sense because then you're getting 100% of that commission. But more importantly, instead of recommending a product to someone, your audience that already knows and already trusts you and values your information, they're more likely to buy from you anyway. And on that same note, a lot of times your product can just be focused on filling a gap that you see. A great example of this is one of our blogging students, Amira. Mm -hmm. She is killing it in blogging right now. I think her last income report was something like 40 grand a month. Crazy, yeah. So she's been absolutely killing it. Shout out Amira, we're super proud of you. Doing a great job. But she focused on something that she was an expert in. She's a lawyer and a lot of people uh, were missing. There wasn't a lot of information out there about how to create legal pages for your blog. So she filled that gap by creating a product that people could buy and make it easy to set up their legal pages and avoid lawsuits and things like that. Yep, she took a skill that she already had and uh, saw a giant hole that needed to be filled and then she filled it and she's doing really well today because of it. Shout out to Amira Law, we love you. Tip number 11, grow and optimize your business. Now this is a phase that's in the distant future for many of you, but it is kind of the one of the cooler parts about getting to blogging is that you can have everything set up and all of your articles are set up and your products are set up right. and everything on the blog is kind of set as it needs to be. And then you just get to focus on the fun part, which is growing and optimizing. Right. It's creating the YouTube videos, it's creating the podcast, getting new people in the door via ads. It's actually a really fun time in your business. You get to hire people, bring people on. Right. Um, it's a really great time and something that you want to get to eventually as a blogger. Yeah, growth in anything we do is going to be exciting and thrilling. We're in we're in uncharted territories and new grounds that give us an opportunity to grow our business, making more money, forming more connections and things along that line. That's when those things like networking and uh, outreach and these types of things become more important. But the most important part is the steps before it, right. is that we are setting up our blog for its future success in our website. So it has a great foundation. Now that when we network, people come to our beautiful website. They see our amazing content. Right. They see the products that we've created. They they see what we've done and they go, oh, this is a reputable source that somebody I like and can work with. Right, a house is only as good as its foundation. All right, number 12, be patient and enjoy the fucking ride. Guys, because it's a ride. Like this whole thing, again, like I like to speak, we like to speak about specific things, but then a little bit more esoteric can be fun. And the truth is, is that um, when, I, when we look back at building our websites and building our blogs and stuff like that, there's the hard times can be the fun times in there. You know, the, the amount of immense work that it took for you and I to get the SEO results we get mm -hmm. um, represents a really hard time for us. But it also represents something that means a lot to us. It right. gave our website meaning. Yeah. And the truth is you're going to build thick skin having fun and making it through those times. If you can learn to laugh and sort of be at peace at those really, really difficult times, then the best times are going to mean even more. With Create and Go, we had many times that we were frustrated, irritated, couldn't quite figure out how to crack 
sort of this SEO code and get things working well for Kringo. We thought something was wrong with us. We thought something was wrong with our strategy. It took us having other websites where we could implement these strategies and implement these things we learned and seeing those become successful to remind us that the journey for every blog is gonna be different. Mm -hmm. And you have to learn how to enjoy and maximize the potential that you have for whatever business you're in. And creating anything good, especially with the blogs and businesses we create at Create and Go, that's why patience is so important to this prospect. Because we are not get rich quick guys. We're not sitting here like promote Facebook ads to your e-commerce store and make a million dollars tomorrow with your drop shipping website or whatever. And, and you know, shout out to those guys. They probably yeah. do pretty well. Do. But it's like we are trying to build you blogging businesses that are going to last not only today but tomorrow and in the long term. And that's why we're here. We want to help more people go from zero dollars to becoming full-time bloggers. We want to help a thousand people go from nothing to being a full-time blogger, having full-time blogging income, and living life on your terms. And that's why we exist, and that's why we, we do all the things that we do. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, again, hitting that like button means a lot, but subscribing to our YouTube channel right now uh, would mean a ton to us. And if you wanna see Noah on more videos, well, he's gonna be showing up on more videos, so you will be seeing more of Noah. Uh, hope you liked him. Yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys more in later videos. And I just want you guys to know that I'm proud of you. Keep going. You may just be on the cusp of something really great. Can't wait to see you guys in more videos. And uh, as Alex said, hit that like button and let us know if you enjoyed this video. All right, see you on the next one, guys.